Chapter 5. Ignatius is brought to Rome. Having therefore, by means of this epistle, settled, as he wished, those of the brethren at Rome who were unwilling for his martyrdom, and setting sail from Smyrna, for Christophorus was pressed by the soldiers to hasten to the public spectacles in the mighty city Rome, that, being given up to the wild beasts in the sight of the Roman people, he might attain to the crown for which he strove. He next landed at Troas. Then, going on from that place to Neapolis, he went on foot by Philippi through Macedonia, and on to that part of Epirus which is near Epidamnus, and finding a ship in one of the seaports, he sailed over the Adriatic Sea, and entering from it on the Tyrene, he passed by the various islands and cities, until, when Puteoli came in sight, he was eager there to disembark, having a desire to tread in the footsteps of the Apostle Paul. But a violent wind arising did not suffer him to do so, the ship being driven rapidly forwards, and, simply expressing his delight over the love of the brethren in that place, he sailed by. Wherefore, continuing to enjoy fair winds, we were reluctantly hurried on in one day and a night, mourning as we did over the coming departure from us of this righteous man. But to him this happened just as he wished, since he was in haste as soon as possible to leave this world, that he might attain to the Lord whom he loved. Sailing then into the Roman harbour, and the unhallowed sports being just about to close, the soldiers began to be annoyed at our slowness, but the bishop rejoicingly yielded to their urgency.